Yo guys, how's it? Hitmon Pop and Jin Swords here with another episode of the Pokemon Diamond Gateway Challenge. If you are just joining us for the first time and you don't know what a gateway challenge is, it is a challenge that I made up and uh, rules will be in the description and also you can watch the beginning of episode 1 if you have not seen that already to get a better idea of what it's all about. So in the last episode, we got our Chimchar, we got our Pokedex, and we talked to our mom, so we're pretty much on our way back to talk to Dawn, so we can get our Pokeballs. And we have an Adamant Chimchar, by the way, which is pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. You know, we for that close combo, Mach Punch, Flame Wheel, etc. Although not that great for that Ember. But at least we can two-shot these level 2 B-Dukes, and we should probably be able to two-shot level 3 B-Dukes as well. I'm not getting that much experience, just because, you know, it's a level 2 B-Duke. Um, so we're back in Sand Gem Town. I don't really need to heal. Um, you heal automatically when you talk to your mom, then, so. Dawn, there she is. And we're about to get our Pokeballs, which means that our gateway challenge is about to start. Oh, that's right. Jin, I haven't shown you how to catch a Pokemon. I'll demonstrate how to catch one, so just watch me, okay? So, uh, we're about to see how to catch a Pokemon. She's gonna catch a level 2 Bidoof, and it would be hilarious if she got a crit here. You know, I'm just hoping that she gets a crit. Although, they probably have it such a tackle, um, does less than 50%, so even if somehow you broke through the game to make it get, get a crit, it wouldn't kill. Yeah, see, even if it were a crit, it still would only do, like, 80%, which would not be enough to get a full knockout. You know, if you somehow did get a crit by breaking the game. Because I don't think you can possibly get a crit, just because I've played through so many games at the beginning, and none of them have ever gotten a crit. And I've played through all the games many times, too, so. And I've probably played through Diamond at least three or four times, Platinum at least six or seven. So, you know. And, yeah, so pretty much I haven't really seen a crit. It's what I'm trying to say. So, you know, she caught the Beedoof. That's pretty impressive. She caught a level 2 Beedoof. She's pretty much a Pokemon catching master. <laughs> See, isn't it neat? Actually, it's better to lower your target's HP more than I did. It's important to get the Pokemon's HP down as low as possible. This is because the health of Pokemon is very difficult to catch. Oh, Pokemon also get easy to catch make them sleep or something like by using Pokemon's move. Okay, Jen, to get you started, I'll give you five Pokeballs. Yeah. If you have lots of Pokemon with you, it'll be safe for a long trip. Plus, it'll be a lot more fun having Pokemon with friends by along. Okay, I need to get going. Bye now. Okay, so now that the Gateway Challenge has started since we've gotten our Pokeballs, that means that any route... From now on, that we leave at any point in time, we are not allowed to catch a Pokemon at all. And uh, we're now in Route 103, or 203, excuse me. And I'm going to be attempting to catch a Shinx and a Starly. But in order to do that, I do have to catch my Crick this Cricketot here, which I don't actually want to do. Because, you know, it's a Cricketot. Crick Cricketot suck. Cricketoons suck. Pretty much they all just, you know, suck. I uh, just gotta hope I don't get a crit here or something. Oh, nice. Okay. I can. I should be able to catch it from here. Um, use a Pokeball quickly here. Oh, I hope I'm able to, ca you know, get Pokeballs from um, the Pokemart in Sand Gem Town. Just because if I run out of Pokeballs while I'm on the route, then I could be screwed if I want to go back to, like, the earlier routes and try to catch a Starly. But, you know, I didn't get a Starly or something. So, uh, we have a Cricketot. It shakes its head back to front, causing its antennae to hit each e other and sound like a xylophone. So, uh, I believe it is a female one, and it, you know, sounds like a xylophone, so we might as well name it Xyla. I mean, it's pretty much the perfect name for it. Alright, so come on, Shinx, 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 let's go! Come on. Ah, uh, another Cricketot. Um, I am not running a Species Clause, which basically means that even if I have already seen this Cricketot, I am going to have to catch it. 
It, that's pretty much what that means. So we're going to use another scratch. Growl. You know, I'm going to go for another scratch anyway, just because I only have five Pokeballs. And if I have to keep catching Krigatots before I can get to my Shinx, I don't want to run out of Pokeballs. Just, you know, if these Krigatots uh, break through, then it's a waste of a Pokeball. I only have five right now. Which is not very many. Oh, do not want to fight. I want to use Pokeball. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Please, 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 please. No, see, just like that. Just like that. He is wasting my Pokeballs. Wasting my Pokeballs. Oh my gosh, I already hate this Krikatot. I hate this Krikatot. Come on, let's go. I need to catch you. There it is. Okay, I got you. I got you. So now we just caught ourselves another cricket dog. Good for us. Good for us. So of course we're gonna name it um, Crick a tot. We're gonna name him. Name him Rick. Oh no, we're gonna name him Jiminy. You know Jiminy Cricket. Yeah, well, Jiminy, not the two J's. Although J is the best letter in the alphabet, so you know. You know I would be okay with using a lot of J's. Come on, Shinx! 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 No! 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 Why do I keep getting Krikatots? I swear, is it because it's nighttime and Krikatots like a 50% chance of being gone in the nighttime? I just don't want Krikatots. I'm just gonna kill all these guys off. Just because, you know, they take up space in my party. Okay, that guy's probably a hasty nature or something. Uh, I only have two Pokeballs left. Which basically means if this one doesn't catch, then I cannot get a Shinx. Alright, so I caught this one. And since I only have one Pokeball left, and I cannot go back to the Pokemart to get a different Pokemon. Um, another one, I guess we're just, we're just gonna name this guy, Rick. But, uh, I cannot go back and get more Pokeballs. Which is unfortunate, because I need more Pokeballs, just so I can keep catching new Pokemon, so I can hopefully get a Shinx! 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 Shinx or Starly. I'd be happy with either of those. And if it's not what we want, I'm just... Yes, Starly! I'm not even gonna... If it weren't something that I wanted, I wouldn't even, you know, use the Pokeball, just because it's a waste of a Pokeball. But this is something that I do want, and uh, we're gonna scratch it. Hopefully, it won't take it out. I don't think it will, though. Uh, yep, to it KO. Probably. All right, not after that growl, at least. Unless I get a crit. Um, but I want to scratch because I do not want to run out of pokeballs. Come on. Nice. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Now you better stay in this pokeball. I'm going to be really upset, Starly. You wanna know how upset I will be on a scale of 1 to 10? I will be moderately upset. You would, you know why, I'll, why I will be moderately upset? Just because I'm gonna have to go back to route, one of the early routes to catch Starly instead. And they're gonna be probably level 2, which is a lower level than level 3. So we got a Starly. They flock in great numbers. Though small, they flap their wings with great power. Although its base attack is what, like base 40 or something? Maybe 45? If even that high. Alright, so Star is pretty powerful, base 120 attack, 100 speed, with the ability to have powerful flying type moves, normal type moves, and fighting type moves, which gets really, really good coverage, and I believe also, um, perfect coverage, um, in this game. I think the only thing that actually resists all three of, the, all three of those types would be Aegislash. Which obviously does not exist. I mean, also the blade and Hone Edge. So what are we gonna name this guy? We're gonna name him. Yeah, it's a him. Ah, right, see, so what should we, what should we name him? We're gonna name him. Speed, power, the knockout, Mike Tyson. We're gonna name this guy Mike Tyson. Because he has the power, he has the speed, he's just the whole package. And you know Mike Tyson, 
there's one thing he has, it's the whole package. And he is not afraid to be eating souls. He eats souls for breakfast, night, and day, in that order. And he eats people's ears off. Because he is Mike Tyson. Alright, so we're gonna go heal. Actually, alright, well, I officially cannot catch anything else on Route 202, I guess. So this is Route 202. And, um, honestly, I don't like these guys. We're gonna try to kill them off. Um, basically, what that entails is going to the, uh, first trainer we find, and we're just gonna sack them all against that guy. Um, we're gonna cap buy a bunch of Pokeballs. We're gonna buy, like, ten Pokeballs, which would be enough for now. Um, just give me enough. Ooh, right, Premier Ball. Um, and then I can get a few potions. I can get three potions, which is nice. Uh, see, this is fourth gen, which means that poison Pokemon, although they do get hurt outside of battle, they will not faint, which is super uber duper important. And awesome, for that matter. Um, Spidey's level 7. I don't know. Um, I want to make it easier to kill off my Cricket Tots. Just because, you know. Alright, so Starly. Starly should be able to hand, handle my Cricket Tots, no problem. Do I have any attacking moves? Do I have something? I have Growl and Bide. I guess I'll just go for Bide. Oh, that's probably a mistake, just because there's no way he can take me out in three hits. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Um Yeah, honestly, this is just not gonna work. This is gonna be pretty bad. Unleash energy, but it failed, and now he's gonna go for the tackle. Please do a lot of damage. Three damage, that's pitiful. We're just gonna run. And we're gonna wait till we get to the uh, first trainer. And, um, yeah, hold on, I'm going to heal first, just because if we heal first, um, I'm just going to be sacking my Cricket Tots anyways, but if we heal first, that also means that Starly will be healed, and hopefully, I will be able to use Starly in the fight after, you know, Cricket Tot does some damage with its powerful growls, the powerful growls. Um, yeah. And once the Starly's at minus 6 attack and all my Cricket Tots are dead, hopefully, um, bring in Starly. And Starly should be able to wreck the rest of that other Starly's house. Because I believe the first guy has a Starly, level 5 Starly. And now we get a Shinx. Oh my gosh, I wanted a Shinx. When I say I wanted a Shinx, I really wanted a Shinx. Alright. I really wanted a Shinx. That is really too bad. Okay, so we're getting all these wild Pokemon. I don't like these wild Pokemon, and I don't like these Krikatots. Who on earth would want a Krikatot? Unless you're trying to do the weakest Pokemon fights ever. Honestly, Krikatots suck. Krikatoons suck. I mean, Krikatoon has a pretty cool sprite, I have to admit. It has a mustache and everything. Pretty cool, but at the same time, Krikatoon really sucks. Yeah, Pokemon Trainer! I happen to be a Pokemon Trainer! Our eyes met, so battle we must! Okay, battle we must? Can't you just say we must battle? No, just gonna speak mm, that crazy weird talk that is not normal for kids these days. Alright, sweet, so we got this level 5 Starly. And, uh, I hate to be doing this, but at the same time, I honestly just want to kill my Krigatots. I don't even want to, you know, waste the space. Because once I go to a new route, I can't even, I, I can't do anything until these guys, I can't catch new Pokemon. Um, what am I trying to say? Yeah, I can't catch new Pokemon until I have space in my party. So I go to the next route, I find, uh, a Bidoof. I don't want a Bidoof, but I want something else in that route, so I have to catch the Bidoof. And, you know, because I have to catch the Bidoof, I, that makes my party full, because I have three Cricket Tots. And, um... Then I can't catch anything else in that route, because I don't have space for it. Which really suck would suck. 
And that is basically why we are sacking our quick job. Alright, so uh, we're gonna use Growl. Quick attack, is that gonna be a KO? I don't think so. Ah, nice, not bad. Alright, so Jiminy's down, there's one down. One down. Um, now we go to Rick. And uh, we're gonna switch into Zyla. Come on, Rick. You can do it. Switch out before that star leaves a quick attack. There you go. Pulling through. Pulling through. Let's go, Starly. You gotta pull through, too. You gotta go for that quick attack. There you go. Not bad. Not bad. I'm a critical hit. Wow. Thank you, Starly. You are making my life a lot easier by making this go really quickly. So, of course, we have Rick now. And uh, we're gonna sack Rick. Um, hopefully we can get a growl off first, though. Nice. We got a growl off. We got a growl off. And I'm just gonna keep using growls, just because I don't want to go for buy just in case he goes for a quick attack that's a crit. I'm still alive with my HP, then he keeps going for growls, and then I, you know, buy gets released, and I do a one-hit KO on him. Would that suck, because Rick would level up? Yes, that would suck, because Rick would level up. And that is not what I want to do. So I'm just going to keep going for Growls. Not to mention the Growls just make it easier for Starly to come in and finish the game later. Which is what I am hoping. Alright, so now that that Starly's at minus two, I can go for buy because if I am... Um, if... If I actually manage to survive and hit the buy, I have to be at least one HP. Which means that I will have taken six or fewer damage and buy does double that. Which means that it will do twelve or fewer damage. Uh, which would not be enough to take it out. And it actually looks like I'm going to survive if he goes for a quick attack. Alright. Not bad. Not bad. 1 HP. Unleashed energy. That should be a nice clean to a KO. Ah, not bad. Not bad. Making life easier for your teammates. Making life easier for your teammates. Why are you going for growl? Just go for the damn quick attack. Just go for the quick attack or the tackle. Tackle's okay too. At this point, as long as you don't miss the tackle, which would sting. These tackle, as you may know, is base power 35 and base accuracy 95. Unlike generations 5 and 6, where it's power 50 and accuracy 6, accuracy not 60, 100, excuse me. Which I feel is too broken for early on in the game. Um, I think they should keep it as 35, 95. I mean, scratch is obviously better, just with 40, uh, 100. But even so, it's really not that big of a deal. There's no reason to make Tackle actually a legitimately okay move in the early game. Tackle, not bad. That's two a KO. And, uh, unless he gets a crit here, please do not get a crit. Nice. No crit, which means that Mike Tyson will be able to take down a Starly Eaten Soul, Mike Tyson. Eaten Souls. For breakfast. For breakfast. 60 experience points, that is a clean level 4, maybe level 5. Maybe level 5, we'll see, we'll see, come on. On um, level 4 and a half, not bad, not bad. Yes, too strong, Mike Tyson is too strong. You are absolutely 100% correct. Um, I'm going to put Mike Tyson in the front. I'm not even going to bother healing, I just want to see what nature he is. Serious nature, alright, that's not terrible. Adamant, modest, sassy, naughty. All those natures suck except for naughty. Um, keen eye. Alright, alright. Of course, a powerful Adamant Spidey. Who's got the high special defense IVs. You know, it's powerful. It's powerful. Um, so we're gonna... I believe the next girl has two B-Doof? One B-Doof? I'm not even sure. I spy with my little eye trainer a battle, please. Alright, you could just say, let's battle. You don't have to go into the whole monologue kind of thing. Yep, b -doof. I'm right about the first one. I think our second one's also b -doof. I'm not 100% sure about that. Let's see, we are 12 HP. A crit tackle should not be able to KO us. I do not believe. Oh, that's a 3 hit KO. Oh, that's not good. Tackle... Four damage. Four damage. That stinks. That stinks. Because that's like borderline on KOing me with a crit. Um, but I like to live dangerous. 
you will learn that absolutely. I like to live dangerous. I'm going to keep going for it. Oh my god, he got the crit and I survived. Whew. Mike Tyson pulling through. Don't miss, don't miss. Mike Tyson pulling through in the clutch. We should rename you to Clutch Player. Clutch Player. Mike Tyson, you are way too powerful. Way too powerful. Surviving on that 1 HP. Level 5, getting the quick attack. And the powerful attack boost. Plus 2. Not bad. Not bad. Mike Tyson, you are amazing. We're going to keep battling. And, um... We're going to go back into... Cham Cha! A Spider-Man! Spider-Man's going to use his spidey sense. He's going to dodge this tackle like it's nobody's business. Like it's nobody's business. And... He's not going to dodge it, but he's going to take it like a champ. No problem. No problem. And we are going to retribute. I think that's right. Am I using that right? I don't even know if I'm using that right. We're going to... Either way, we're going to smack that thing in the face with a number. And we're going to burn it. Burn it, soul. So Mike Tyson ate, the, ate that first beat of soul. And this Spider-Man is burning this beat of soul. So Mike Tyson got a little bit of experience. Spidey got a little bit of experience. And, uh, Starly's at 1 HP, which basically means that I don't like this, and I'm just gonna go heal. Um, just because I want to keep getting experience with Starly. Um, I believe in Diamond there's a rival, I haven't played Diamond in forever. I've played Platinum a million times, but I haven't played Diamond. I believe there's still a rival battle right after Jubilife City, though, uh, when you go east. So, um, I'm, probably not, I'm not gonna do that this episode, probably, but, uh, I am going to, um... Do a lot of other stuff and train for it at battle off screen. Try to get both my Pokemon to level 10. Um, so yeah. Oh, you're at the PC. All right, whatever. We can do that in Jube Life City. We can do that in Jube Life City. I just have to make sure I remember. That would be bad. A Bidoof. You know how much I like a Bidoof. I really just don't like a Bidoof. Just don't like a Bidoof. Well, so far, this gateway challenge has not been too difficult. Um, I mean, I can't get whatever Pokemon I want, but it's easier than a Nuzlocke in the, in the fact that I can get more than one Pokemon. And that is nice. And, um, yeah, being able to get more than one Pokemon on a route, which makes it easier to train up early game. But in the late game, when you start running out of routes and facing high-level opponents, um, it can become much more difficult. Especially if you get... When you're going on roots and you keep getting species claws, and I don't deal with species claws. I mean, there's an inset rule limit of five Pokemon you can get, but that's only because you only have six party members and you can't catch Pokemon if your party are full. Party is full, excuse me. Let's have a Pokemon battle, humph, but I'm gonna win. Okay, let's let's see it. Bring it on, challenger, youngster Logan. Logan, Shinx, please have the rivalry and not the Intimidate. Actually, yeah, I'm a guy, so please have the rivalry and not the Intimidate. And I know you do not get Spark until level 13 because Shinx sucks! In that regard, at least. Oh, the critical hit, not bad. My Tyson, eating souls, eating souls. Eating souls. So we're not even going to mess with this, we're just going to go straight for the quick attack. He has a rivalry, but he did not decide to go for the tackle, which means that he would, did not get the extra 50% boost um, from his ability, which is, you know, it's nice. It's nice. Oh, and all that experience, experience gobbling it up. Not bad. Level 7. Mike Tyson's just as strong as uh, Spider-Man right now. Right now, Mike Tyson versus Spider-Man in the fight, it'd be a damn close fight. So we got another Beedoop here, a little, a little beaver, a little beaver. Uh, I'm not sure, not sure what the whole point of the doof in the, uh, the name Beedoop really mean. Does it mean like, is it from like doofus? So it's a combination of beaver and doofus, or I don't, I, I just don't know. That's maybe that's something I should look up. The etymology of the name Beedoop, and he just got a crit. But Mike Tyson's too powerful. He's eating souls. He's eating souls, and when souls come back for revenge. He eats them, too. He eats them, too. So, a little bit of experience. Not bad, not bad. Um, that was the last fight for this guy. That guy doesn't fight us, but I do want that item. 
just because items are omni important and also really really nice just in general so uh female level three starly versus mike tyson it's not even gonna be competition mike tyson just do your work please you do your work do your work and your work will be done tackle tackle i'm eating that up i'm eating that up no problem you youngins need to understand don't reach, young bloods. Don't reach. I'm too powerful. You don't want to fight this. You don't even get close to this. You don't want me to even see you. Because I see you, I will destroy you. And it's not even going to be a close competition. It's not even going to be fair because I'm so much more powerful. I'm just a higher breed. So, uh, there's Dawn. Oh, hi, Jin. Are uh, you catching Pokemon? Wow, you've already got five Pokemon. Well, actually, I only have two Pokemon because three of them are dead. Unfortunately, haha, <laughs> not really, but... At that pace, your Pokemon should be full and no time at all. In Do Life City, you should visit the trainer school. You can get... You can become smarter, even though I'm already, like, the smartest trainer here. Alright, uh, you're the smartest trainer here. Do Life City, city of joy, not bad. Jubilee coming, of course, from the word Jubilee. We're just going to talk to our rival here. Hey, Jim, did you come to study too? I went ahead and memorized everything that was on the blackboard. After all, it is the trainer job to have the repressed Pokemon hurt in battle, right? So, Jim, what brings you, huh? You got something for me? Deliver the parcel, not bad. Not bad. So, what is this? Score is a town map, huh? Why are there two in here? I like it a lot, but I don't even care. Hey, Jim, you take one. Cool. We got ourselves a town map. Not bad. Alright, so go to Orbridge City. So basically, he wants to become the strongest, he's going to Orbridge City because he wants to get a gym badge. Because he needs validation from other people to believe in himself to be strong. Kind of like Sharon in Generation 5. Um, kind of like... I don't even know. What's his name? Uh... Oh yeah, um, ri your rival in um, Gold and Silver, who's like the son of Giovanni, and he's really upset because he wants to be the strongest because his dad lost. He's, you know, Giovanni's weak. He lost to Red. To be fair, Red is the most powerful Pokemon trainer in the game. In any game, in the world, pretty much. Okay, you got a new guy. Oh, oh, oh! You call yourself a Pokemon trainer, and yet you have no Poketch. That is, Pokemon Watch, or Poketch for short. Oh my, you are quite a rare case indeed. You see, I invented and now manufacture Poketches. Not only that, I now conduct. I am now conducting the Poketch promotional campaign. All you have to do is find three clowns in Jubilife City. If you can find them, I will gift you with a Poketch. Okay, that's no problem. Alright, found one. Do I have to talk to him? I do have to talk to him. It's silly, we shouldn't have to talk to him. I'm not even gonna, t I'm not even gonna talk about these questions on screen, just because they're the stupidest questions. They're meant for first-time players, five-year-olds, who can barely read, who won't even know what Poketch even means, even with, with the guy explaining Pokemon Watch. And I'm honestly just pressing A at this point. And uh, now I'm pressing B just because I want to start running. Um, but... Ah, uh, that awkward silence, though. That awkward silence, and I have nothing to talk about. Were they all yes? I mean, I didn't even get to read it. I think that was something about stab, but I did not even get to read it. They were all yes. You want to stop lagging for me, please? Thank you. Alright, let's talk to this guy. Okay, let me count your coupons. I'll use the Poketch here. You need a Poketch to count to three. See, you need to work on becoming smarter just overall, not just smarter in terms of making money or building Poketches. One, two, three. Bravo! I say bri bravo Br bravo In return for these coupons, I present you. Wow! This Pokemon Watakaha or Pokea Pokotch Pokem Pokalotch. It's a Pokalotch. 
You can add apps to your Pokelot to make it even more versatile. Thank you for that information. Touch the Pokelot screen and please do try it out. Don't tell me what to do. I'm going to do what I want to do. So, uh, oh right, he had him in the bag, but I'm going to wait until we get the bicycle for that. Um, see what kind of functions we have. I'm going to use the mouse. Actually, hold on. Come on. Ah, oh, it doesn't even work. Okay. So we have that. We have the calculator. So we need 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 3. Oh my god, I had 3. Who knew? I had all 3 coupons. Step counter. And, uh, you know, those guys show my health and stuff. But I think we're just going to keep it at the time. And now I guess you know when I'm recording this. At least in my time. Um... See, we are about 20, what, 22, 23, 24 minutes in. Uh, I think I'm gonna... Actually, no, hold on. I'm more than 30 minutes in here. I can do math. Maybe I should use that calculator. So uh, this was today's episode. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed this, please. That really, you know, makes me feel good inside. It makes me feel really good inside. Um... Subscribe for more content if you want to see more of this walkthrough, playthrough kind of thing, this challenge. And uh, next episode, we will go west. We will um, get our fishing rod, probably catch Magikarp. You know, Magikarp's pretty much a beast. Um, actually, I don't even know if I want to catch Magikarp over there. Actually, I'm not even going to go over there. Because I go over there, I have to catch Pokemon there before I leave. So I'm not even going to go over there until I have to until I have to for, um, when I'm going to, I don't even remember what that place is called. Wow, it has been way too long since I played this game. I remember, like, everything about every game. Um, I'm gonna feel really bad. It's gonna be Stone, Stone, Cantalave, that's right, the library, Cantalave Library, right, oh, us Cantalave City. That's embarrassing. Okay, so we're not even gonna go west. Next time, we are gonna go... North, catch a Pokemon, um, catch maybe a few. I want to try to get a Badoo. Badoo would be really helpful for the upcoming gym. Um, just because, you know, Monferno's not perfect, even with the Mock Punch. I would like to get a Badoo. Um, and then we're going to go west, probably get a Geodude or Psyduck. I don't really want a Psyduck. I don't really want a Geodude either, for the record. You know, now that I think about it, so I'm not even going to catch either if I get anything in the, you know, the little tunnel place. Um, Route 203, that has Abras and Zubats, I believe. Oh, there are probably Zubats in the cave. I want a Zubat. Zubat's pretty cool. I like Crobat. I like Crobat. Um, I definitely dig an Abra. I definitely dig a Zubat. And we get to Oberg City. We might go up to Route 207. Uh, you know, just to get a Machop or something. But I, I don't think so. You know, I'm not even going to go up there until I have to, just because... Um, it'd be better to get, like, a Metatite later if I lose a Burnip or something. So, yeah, that's gonna be it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Stick tuned for the next episode of my Pokemon Diamond Gateway Challenge. Thank you guys for watching, and see you all later.